John, what a win, what a performance. What's your take on today? I think, yeah, really, really pleased with the win. I'm obviously disappointed we conceded the goal late. A difficult game, I think, to summarise because for large parts of the first half, I thought Reading were excellent and caused us quite a few problems. And probably a bit fortunate, I think, to not concede a goal earlier on. They had a couple of really good chances. But once we got to grips with the game, uh, particularly with the way that we were pressing, we, we changed a couple of things after about half an hour. I thought we, we then sort of stepped on ourselves and, and put everything together pretty well. And in the second half, we knew it was going to become about become a lot more open. Uh, I thought Reading went a bit more direct and then it was about picking up second balls and attacking from there. And, and we did it really well and put the ball in the back of the net four times. So really pleased with that overall. And at this stage of the season, it's all about winning. How did you overcome those challenges in the first half? We just changed the way we pressed. That was the first thing. So I, my, my talk to the lads at half-time was that 50% will take on board because uh, we had to tactically change what we were doing. And then 50%, I thought, despite it, it didn't matter which way you, we, you press, uh, we weren't organised enough in behind the ball. We lost too many challenges. We lost too many second balls. I thought Reading showed a lot of energy. They came out with a lot of purpose. And once we sorted ourselves out there, because we started picking second balls up, because we started winning challenges and playing forward, we looked a lot better side in the second half. How crucial was the timing of that first goal? It was really important, I think, in terms of just giving us a lift. The, the crowd had, had stayed with us through the through the first half when we were patchy and we weren't great. So I thought it gave everyone a, a really big lift and gave us a real sort of boost into half time. And obviously after that, Reading had to play slightly differently, I think, and had to really come at us. Not that they didn't in the first half, but maybe they were slightly more open. And then being more open, I think, left them slightly more exposed at the back and we managed to take advantage of that. What do you think sparked such a quick and ruthless second half performance? I think the lads just took a minute in the dressing room to get hold of themselves. It was a, a pretty calm dressing room today because we just needed to change a couple of things or tweak a couple of things uh, tactically. And to be honest, I, I actually think I think Reading were a good side. What I said before the, the game um, wouldn't change. I think they were a really good side who have, have overcome quite a lot of adversity off the pitch and they've got some really, really good players there who we saw on display today. So I think that the, the lads have just sort of got hold of themselves. They grew into the game. Um, I think making his full debut, somebody like Mox grew into the game as, as the game went on and, um, and developed. And a few of the lads uh, did exactly the same. So that's what we saw in the second half and I was really pleased. Mox, one of three changes. What was the thinking there? Owen obviously in for... Uh, Tom Lowry uh, because of his injury. Um, Miles has just picked up a, a minor injury. It shouldn't be anything uh, too severe, so hopefully we'll see him back next week. Nothing to panic about on that. And uh, the other one um, was obviously bringing Colby back in, freshening things up. It's a really nice option, I think, to have to be able to uh, change the two centre forwards and, um, and the sort of performance levels between the two of them has been right up there for the entirety of the season, so really pleased with that. And, and what we've done over the past few weeks since since the turn of the new year has tried to rotate the, the front four in particular and we've been able to do that so um, probably the only one that hasn't actually had a huge amount of a rest which is why we brought him off first today was, was Paddy Paddy's the only one that's, that's played all those minutes but he's I guess in, in terms of where we are with where we are with everything particularly with the wingers maybe slightly ahead of uh, those other lads in terms of fitness so um, really you know, really happy that we were, are able to do that in the first place Someone who kept their place from Tuesday and built on his performance from Tuesday, Abu Kamara, three assists for him today. What do you make of his performance? Well, I thought that the the things that would only ever frustrate us with with Abu and the reason I'm, I'm on him all the time is because of what we, we saw today. If he doesn't get his man and I think if he plays a bit safe, then we see an Abu Kamara who um, you know I, I try and encourage to be a bit more positive with. And I've been like that, obviously, privately and publicly with him since he stepped into the building because of how much ability he's got. And we saw that again today. So really pleased with Abs when he gets at players like he did for the first goal. He can glide past them. Physically, he's great. Technically, he's great. His work rate is, is right up there and set Paddy up really nicely, unselfishly. And obviously for the other goals as well, for the second and third goal, I thought um, some you know, really good play there and unselfish as well. So really pleased for him. How nice is it to have the luxury of being able to see the game out you know, by three goals in the end? Yeah, that was, it was nice. Obviously, it was nice that we, we were a bit more comfortable with the third goal and obviously the fourth goal late on. Uh, we were going to uh, possibly make those changes anyway, so the fourth goal, I think, made it ultra comfortable. We were disappointed, I think, to concede the goal. I think, as we have been recently, when, like when we did it against Northampton, it would have been much better to have won the game 4-0, obviously. But I think my I'm less concerned about conceding that goal late on. I'm, I'm more concerned probably about the fact that maybe we, we could have been a goal down after uh, 15, 20, 25 minutes. So... Um, Ultimately, we've won the game, won the game comfortably, so I can't grumble too much. Impact of your subs as well. How important was that in sort of being able to, to see the game out? 
I think really important. We we obviously brought Paddy off first, put Christian in there for uh, to have that energy as as a ten and do what we know Christian can do. And I think he showed that in um, in patches and in glimpses. We it's difficult for him, I think, coming back on having not been in the squad on Tuesday night. So coming into the side and and obviously um, having to make an impact, which I think he did actually, and he lifted the crowd. And and then yeah, to make that triple change at the end, three really really good players coming on for um, three really good players that are coming off. It's it's very nice to have that strength and depth. Fratton Park absolutely bouncing at points today. A record attendance of more than 20,000 th- 20, fans. Sorry, How much of a privilege is it for you to be able to stand there in the dugout behind all of that noise and you know fans who are really driving that performance? Yeah, it's a massive privilege for myself, the, the coaching staff and obviously the players as well. There were times I thought in the first half where it was as loud as it's been at Fratton for a long time and, and thankfully uh, we, we were able to, to treat the, the fans to a, a bit of a sort of a goal scoring display in, the, display in the second half and and then I think everybody could just sort of relax and enjoy it towards the last, for the last 20, 20 minutes. So I think first off, record attendance is amazing to, to have that. The um, the crowd have been brilliant all season and I think it's just a sign of hopefully things to come over the last 12 games.